How's it going everybody? My name is Nativator and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be going outside into the big wide world. I know, scary, but we're going to do it together. So let's go out there and see what Jurassic Park and Jurassic World things we can find in the wild. Let's go. Okay, we are out of the car and we are heading to the first place. It's actually kind of sunny today, it's kind of warm. I feel the heat in the back of my neck already. It's only like 10 a.m. I'm gonna go to the first store that I had on my mind, but I didn't know this even existed. I've just turned a corner and seen it. Oh my God. Let's go and have a look. Like I say, this is like brand new to me. I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> and I think that's all the Jurassic. So just some uncaged stuff and dino trackers. It's not a lot else. And there's just a few more snap squads hiding there on the shelf. Oh well. He wasn't expecting that. That's cool. Anyway, let's move on to the next door. Next door we're going to look at is the entertainer. Straight away I've seen this, which I haven't seen before, which is pretty cool. Is the Jurassic section, so you've got the 30th anniversary logos flying. But it doesn't look like there's anything new. Nothing I could see anyway. All this stuff's been out for some time now. We do have these with the Chinese um, logo on there as well. Class that as a variant, I guess. But that's about it, really. I really want that. And they're kind of disappointing. They never seem to have like a decent stock, like an update. They always seem to be just hanging on to like really old stock for a long time and never updating it, uh, which kind of makes me go there less and less often, but I wanted to do it so you guys can see what is actually on offer. Another one to try is HMV. They don't always have um, a decent amount of stock of Jurassic, but you might get surprised now and then. So I'm just gonna have a flick through some of these and see what I can find. Nothing in there, um, just, just Funko Pops, so. Now I know you guys have got TJ Maxx in America, and our equivalent is TK Maxx. Wow, it is super warm in this car. Um, so yeah, didn't really find anything at the Entertainer or the other stores, apart from TK Maxx coming up trumps with this Owen Grady pickup truck, which actually I haven't got. And uh, for 2.99, I thought, ah, do you know what? I'm just gonna take it home. So what I'm gonna do now is head to the next store. Let's go. Next stop, we're gonna look at Smith's Toys.
this is something new to me. That's cool. I think that's coming home with me. Ooh, and the black and white Dilophosaurus as well. I like that. I think that's coming home as well. I love weird colour variants like that. Got that new Dino Trackers T Rex. I'm still not buying that for $39.99. It's just a glorified extreme chomping T Rex. But that Indominus is nice. I remember Marco was talking about this, and the head sculpt looks really nice now. Maybe, maybe when it drops like another tenner, I might buy it. But other than that, it doesn't look like there's anything new, nothing else, apart from these. Uh, let's go and check out, see if the Legos uh, are in stock now. Yeah, I've got this scooter as well. Lego section, massive, but doesn't look like they've got any new Jurassic Lego, just all the Dominion stuff. Stuff on discount as well, so hidden in like these like bits here. So there's a Scorpius Rex, still hiding. No price on it though. There's a couple more down there. Um, got the Legacy Collection Velociraptors kicking about. Five pounds now. That's not too bad. Oh, they're on clearance at ten. Okay. Got loads of these raptors. Anyone run? <laughs> anyone run raptors? Got these Camp Cretaceous party bags as well. That's quite nice. And they've still got these fans. I picked up one of these last year. I think it was. Pretty cool. And they've got these Jurassic World Bluetooth headphones as well. They're pretty nice. Uh, not for thirty though. But yeah, I think they got yeah they got Raptor Blue on the side. It's all right if you're a kid, I guess. I tell you, what, I always have a positive experience when I come to that Smith's Toy Store, and there's a guy that works there. Uh, when I bought the red um, 93 Classic Rex, had a massive conversation with him about the, the whole line and everything. He was a really nice guy to talk to and I just happened to be the same guy getting served again and uh, had a little chat as well about this advent calendar. So yeah, always a really nice experience to go to Smith Toys. I'm back in the warm car and uh, yeah, really cool finding that. That was pretty smart. Um, bit early in the year to be... Uh, getting advent calendars out I guess but um, I'm not complaining I think that's pretty sweet I'm probably not going to open it and uh, that Dilophosaurus as well really nice um, really do like the black and white color variant I mean it's not the nicest sculpt in the world uh, you know it's as far as sculpts go it's, it's pretty poor for a, a Dilophosaurus but still I like it it's black and white I'm probably gonna take it out of the box um, yeah I, do you know what I've just noticed as well it's got paint on the tip of its tail What's going on, Mattel? What's going on? You're right. You're feeling okay. Also, I am turning on the AC. I cannot. I'm dying. I am absolutely dying. Woo! We are going to have a look at a Sainsbury's and what they've got on offer. This is it. Hmm. Wait, no, there's some more. So we've got some plushies. Not that one, obviously. And got some Snap Squad and Cage stuff here. Got some new Dino Trackers. Hmm. Oh, and some of these as well. I think these are from. International Toy Monster. Yeah, I got a load of those, but no one wants them. Oh, and some of those um, Gujitsus. Some stores have Argos, so what you can do is um, you can look for products here and see what comes up. They 
got 60 for that new Indominus here. for the Brachiosaur. Shame, didn't really expect to find anything in Sainsbury's or Argos really, but I used to love Argos because uh, I used to go to the stores and you put the code into these um, machines, although the real old ones, you actually uh, got a piece of paper and you looked in the catalogue for the number right on the little bit of ticket and then you take it to the till and then go into the back and do their magic and find this item that you've bought and then bring it to the front. Nowadays they're um, somewhat integrated into a lot of these Sainsbury stores and uh, you don't have booklets to look through anymore. It's all um, tablets. Oh, it's warm. Ooh. Another company under the TK Maxx umbrella is uh, HomeSense. So we'll have a look in here and see if there's anything. Another store I think we could check out quick is Lidl because sometimes they have like special deals in like the center aisle so see what they've got. Might be nothing, might be something. Really nice baked goods in here as well. It's all like the stuff that you shouldn't be eating but is really good. And hidden in amongst all of the stuff. Hey, I think I know this guy's work. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, Neem's the movie poster guy. He does some fantastic posters. Um, it's great to see his work on shelves in the UK. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. What a friendly person. Thank you very much. So this is the next big um, supermarket grocery store, Tesco. So we'll have a look inside and see what they've got. Little plushies, I think. Yeah, they're just little plushies. And just all the different gujitsus. Nothing special. A lot of these supermarkets are primarily supermarkets for groceries. They do have like a clothing section here, but it is just like this bit. Um, but yeah, the majority of the store is all groceries. But there might be something down this aisle that'll uh, tend to my sweet tooth. Then we're gonna check out B&M's and see if they've got anything in store.
Uh, so that's not a bad price. Uh, but again, just some Dominion stuff really and some few dino trackers, but nothing else. So it wasn't an amazing day out, but still pretty good, I guess. I mean, finding that uh, advent calendar at Smith's, that was pretty cool. Uh, the Owens pickup truck from TK Maxx, that was a nice find as well. And uh, the Mr. DNA enamel pin from Tesco, who would have thought that? Never in a million years would I think I'd find anything decent at Tesco. Um, but yeah, you don't always win when you go out finding stuff. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a look into what it's like hunting for Jurassic stuff in the UK. Um, and probably the best thing of all was seeing that Toys R Us pop-up store. That was crazy. I, I didn't expect that at all. So it was really nice to walk through not a very big store entrance but it was an entrance to say the least of toys r us i mean i've still got my toys r us gold card in my wallet so you know i'm a fan uh, but yeah really nice to see that uh, hopefully we see more of those sort of stores in the future um and more stock as well because there was like no jurassic in there whatsoever it was just like a couple of uncaged snap squad style figures but um anyway Thank you guys for watching. My name is Nathie Vader. I post on Instagram and Twitter almost daily. And of course, it's always Jurassic related. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yes? Yes! But now I'm going to get out of this car because it's super hot. AC to the rescue, am I right? Ah!